What's up, guys? Welcome to the Backwoods TV channel. And today, guys, we got something exciting. Uh, I know it's been a minute since I've last recorded. It's been about a month, but I have really had nothing to record. But I've got something to record today. If you can't read by the title, I got a new truck. Uh, a lot of you guys are wondering what happened to my old truck and where is it? It's still parked in the same spot and it still needs a transmission. Basically what's going on is my car is having a lot of electrical issues right now. Uh, wiring wise, I've done swapped all kinds of parts on it. I actually swapped the fuel pump on that list last time and I did tell it myself like if it started doing the same thing it's doing again, I'm just gonna park it and find something else and then fix it later on. But here last weekend it did the same thing. Basically it did the same thing once again. And I'm not messing with that again. So uh, I went out Looking on Marketplace, found me a pretty good deal on a vehicle, and I uh, bought it. You can obviously very clearly in the thumbnail see that it is an F-150. I'm joining the Redneck TV train and uh, got a 99 F-150 for everybody who wants to call me an RNTV wannabe or an RNTV copycat or whatever the heck y'all say. Honestly, man, it's a nice truck. It does have a lot of miles on it, but the motor was rebuilt at one point. So, uh, yeah, let me quit blabbering and let me just show y'all the truck. Alright, well this is it. This is my uh, 99 F-150. Uh, it's white. Obviously it has a black strip down the side down there, which I kind of like that. Uh, it is currently sitting on 33 inch mud wraps on 20 inch XD series wheels. Not real crazy about chrome wheels, but I'm kind of warming up to it. But it ain't no point anyways, because I'm not really planning on staying on these much longer. I'm actually going to go down to a smaller size because my torsion keys are cranked all the way up, and I promise you, I did not do that. That was the last person on the truck. But, yeah, it's really messing with my alignment. I actually took, took it to get aligned yesterday, and they couldn't get it done all the way. So, yeah, I'm going to try to see if I can't trade these out for something. I do like the look of it. I really do. I think it's a very clean look on the truck, but at the same time, I don't need it. I do plan on going back bigger one day, and I'll slap a leveling kit on here or something. Or I may plan on, or I may do a lift, just save up for that. I don't really need all that right now anyways. I need to get off of these tires anyway so I can save a little bit of money on gas. The truck is not perfect by any means. It does have a little few dents and dings, mainly in that toolbox right back here. I don't know if they dropped something on this or what happened, but yeah, that's a whole dent right here. Bed's all kind of beat up. Overall on the outside, it's not that bad. Actually, it's a very clean truck for the outside. Truck actually has tinted windows. I've never had that on my view, any of my vehicles before. Only other issue too is this flap right here on the tailgate. It's kind of loose, but I can get some self-tapping screws or something and knock that back in. I don't know if y'all noticed this or not yet, but uh, you can look down here. Exhaust tip right there. Exhaust tip right there. I'm not exactly sure what size these are. These look like four-inch tips, but they may be a little bit bigger. But yeah, true dual. Sorry, every time I get on the ground, my dogs want me to rub on them. But uh, I'm not exactly sure. He told me that the cats are still under here, but this thing has a chop that sounds like the first two cats are cut out and then the other two are still in here. A lot of you guys uh, watch LMF Screw, or if any of you guys watch LMF Screw, if you don't, go check him out. But he has a 97 F-150 that he calls Larry. He had the uh, pre-cat system under here at one point, and... Then he ended up cutting two of the cats out and it gave him more of a chop look. But I've listened to both of them and it sounds like two of the cats are cut out. But beside the point, let me show y'all the inside. And I did say earlier that the inside was very rough. If you can't tell the carpet up here. This is actually the only spot where the dash is just messed up. The only spot that I found because I haven't really pulled this up that much. But I may leave this here because I kind of like that. I think it looks kind of cool. Dash cracked right here. Got a crack right here, crack right here, obviously, which that's just a panel I can replace. Got a crack right there. And, uh, yeah, crack right here, which I can get one of these at uh, a salvage yard or something like that. But not that bad. It's got a rip on the seat right here, which I don't mind that. And then the back door on this side won't open unless you pull the little string back there. I don't know if you can see it or not. But... Overall, yeah, it's got a touch screen in it, but I'm probably going to replace this one and put my other one in my car in there because my other one's a Pioneer and this one's a Dual, which I think this is one of the older ones too because it's not really that, or it doesn't have a lot of the settings I think the new one has. I may not be right on that, but 
I'm just gonna see if I can't swap this in out and put this in probably in my car. Open the back door. First thing you'll see is the box of tampons. You know, I gotta have one of these since I drive a Ford now. Estrogen levels are getting really high. I'm kidding. <laughs> back seats look really good. There's one problem, dude. I've actually tried to sit back here. I don't see how people do it. These things are so cramped. But overall, man, I like it. Ugh. I'm not going to crank it up just yet. I'm going to crank it up in a minute, mainly because my grandparents are inside and probably not going to crank it up until I get ready to take it to my dad's. It does have a nice sounding exhaust. Actually, very nice. My grandparents don't like it by any means and neither does my dad, but I don't care. It's my truck. I'm not putting any kind of mufflers on it because I like the way it sounds. And if I get pulled over and they tell me I need to, I'll probably just slap some cherry bombs under it or something. I, I don't think I'll have to worry about that. There are a lot, there are people around here who have a lot louder trucks than I do that never get pulled over. I've seen them pass by the cops with their loud exhaust and they don't seem to care. But I know a lot of people are gonna ask me, what do I plan on doing for sound system wise? Cause apparently that's what I'm known for or something like that. I do plan on upgrading the sound system in here. I do wanna slap some 212s under the seat back here. I'm probably gonna do the same thing that Kenny did and slap two kicker 12s under the seat. If I don't do kickers, I'll do something else. I might put a third 12 up there, just a kind of thing, because I kind of liked his system that he had, and I thought it was pretty cool, even though he destroyed it, like, whenever he was living at his parents' house, putting him in his Mustang. But that's beside the point. Uh, gonna put another radio in here, and uh, I'm gonna have to swap out all four door speakers because this one right here cuts in and out so much actually it's mainly due to the wiring behind the radio i haven't really messed with it much uh he's got half of them actually connected and then the other half is electrical taped which the electrical tape got hot and it's unraveling itself now i think he's actually got the stock speakers right here and then back here is the aftermarket speaker i know of and i think back there is an aftermarket oh, dog come on say hello there you go she won't hop in here with me yet. I don't know why, she just won't do it. It is pretty high mileage. It does have 334,000 miles, but the motor was rebuilt at 180. I don't think the transmission's ever been rebuilt, but in these types of trucks, transmissions were very strong. I know a guy who has one of these, got 450,000 miles in his truck, and it hasn't swapped anything out yet. But uh, another problem is the AC also doesn't work, but this box back here, actually has all the parts with it. it it ain't bothering me too much right now without the ac because i've went all summer without it the car that i've had and then i've had to take my girl's car neither one of them have ac as the trucks we drive at work don't have ac in them so it's not really something that bothers me that much it's august like later on in august it's going to be september so i'm probably not gonna have to have the ac very longer i know they did say some about AC, or the heaters were real notorious for going out in these which if they do i fix it Never heard of a heater core going bad, mainly just a blend door actuator, which, like I said, I'll fix that if I have to. I'm gonna crank the truck up here in just a minute and let y'all hear what it sounds like. Well, I got my tripod set up, so uh, here's what my exhaust on my truck sounds like. That's gonna be it for this one if you guys did enjoy the video be sure you uh hit the like button down below if you guys want to see more of my content hit the subscribe button we are at 371 i believe last time i looked which to me that is crazy i had never even thought i'd get to that point on this channel especially with the way i upload because i don't upload that often gonna be a lot of new content coming especially considering the fact that this thing runs and my other one didn't for anybody want to know what's going on with that truck though or why i haven't really been messing with it much Mainly just because it's hard to find a transmission around here that's not completely ragged out for cheap. Or for something that's within my budget. Because I had to borrow the money to get this truck, okay? I didn't just hand them cash and boom, I'm good to go. I ended up actually having to put this truck and that truck down there for up oh, for collateral. Again, because I just got that one paid off not too long ago. And I had to put it back up for collateral so I could pay for this. Now it seems kind of stupid, especially considering the value on this truck. I'm just going to be real with y'all. I gave $4,500 for this truck. I think the bank told me this truck was worth 3000 
which to me sounds stupid. Especially considering the wheel and tire setup it has on it, but they don't take that into account, ever. If you guys like the truck, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, tell me what you guys think. I know a lot of people are going to tell me to keep it on the wheel and tire setup it's on now, but at the same time, I can't afford a leveling kit at right now. I have to all try to find some extra jobs to work, try to get some sub, some more subs installed for some people to try to gain some money. Right now, that money's not going towards subs. It's really just going towards getting this truck paid off and getting my camper paid off. That being said, uh, hope you guys second round with me and everything. Hope you guys like the truck, and uh, see you guys in the next one.